This video is about how to fix dimmable LED lights that won't shut off completely. Number one, don't buy expensive dimmable fluorescent light bulbs. Number two, do install LED dimmable light bulbs with compatible dimmers. And this video is brought to you by Adventures of Mike Giver and Misty. Please help us grow by subscribing and hitting the like button. So today we are looking at a little problem we're having with some light bulbs we changed out in the house. What's happening is the bulbs that were in place were fluorescent. And when I replaced them, I put in LED bulbs instead of fluorescent, not knowing that the, um, the circuit is controlled by dimmers and the dimmers are not compatible with LED. And the year of dimmers is somewhere around 10 years ago or say like uh, 2010 or 2007, somewhere around there. And I'll show you what's going on. So down here is one of the dimmers. And when you turn it off the switch normally, the lights go off, but you see them up there. They got like a dim that's coming on, no matter what. You could turn the switch and they will stay. Uh, when you turn it on, they'll brighten up. And when you turn it off, they'll just go to dim. They won't go to off. So what I found out was that the dimmer that is inside here, you can see it here, it's a Levington cat number VZ106. And um, this works for the uh, fluorescent lights, but is not compatible with the LEDs. The LEDs weren't popular at the time or weren't around at the time. But what's unique about this dimmer circuit is that it's not a two-way. It has a dimmer here, a dimmer there, and then another dimmer over there that controlled these, these lights. With all these dimmers, you might be asking yourself, why in the heck would you not just replace the burned out bulb? Well, this is why. So this is the bulb that was inside there. You see how it's like a fluorescent bulb inside this case. And here it is. It's a GE and it's a FLE 15-2-DV-R30. So I looked that up online and check that out. One bulb. The price is $54.68. Now every time one goes bad, that's another $54.68. So I decided to call GE. And uh, I wanted to know what was compatible. And they said, they don't make those bulbs anymore. And what they are is they're fluorescent bulbs that look the same as the LEDs, but they're fluorescent. So GE pointed me to this document here, GE Lighting. LED lamp dimmer compatibility. And for your reference, the GE document is located at the above website. And if you open up the PDF documents. Okay, now when you go there, they list off light bulbs in this row here. So basically they're based upon the shape. And what this shape here is, so like the spotlight type shape. This is a BR30 is what they say, so. And you'll find that on number 12 if you look down the left column or page nine if you look on the bottom right hand corner. This is BR30 here. If you go across, across so these are what the lamp would be for GE, the different models, and if, the package description. And then if you move over here, these in green are the dimmers that work with these bulbs. These are ones that GE has tested and verified that they work. They said that 
this would be the one that I want, okay? DVCL153. So GE gave me this information, and this was good information. After they gave me this information here, I called um, Lutron, who is the maker of the dimmer. And first, let me say that the people at GE were actually very qualified to be in tech support. They actually gave me technical information, the technical document, versus sometimes when you call for tech support, they give you bonehead support, where any bonehead would know what they know. This was different. So next I called the maker of the dimmer, Lutron, and talked to them about the three-way dimmer switch circuitry. And what we decided to do was to simplify things and go with one dimmer and two switches instead. And this is the diagram here that you want to follow. And this here would be the dimmer. Latron Tech Support told me to get that dimmer. And then they said I need a four-way switch and a three-way switch. So a three-way switch is see the number of wires you go to it, one, two, and three. And then see the four-way switch has four, one, two, three, four. And they also have a ground wire, okay? And then the dimmer I'm using has three three wires as well and two and three if you look at this the one in the center will have four wires going to it the dimmer and the three way switch have three wires going to it and their locations can be interchanged as long as they have three wires okay so here we go so what we need according to the paperwork here is we need to have a three-way switch a three-way switch and then a four-way switch and now how do you know where they each go this is how you know these two wires come together from um, like they're one set from one Romex and these two here come from another Romex so the four-way these two wires come from that three-way switch and then these two other wires go to the other three-way switch. So this one's in the middle of the four-way. So two on this side, two on that side. So then now over here is our three-way switch. So these two wires come from over there and then this wire either is the power supply or it goes up to the lights either way so and then the opposite is true down below so um, this one is on the black the black is on the black and then the brass is the red one and the white one and I put the red one opposite the black the Lutron dimmer comes with the color coded wires already attached so this three wire location is where I'm going to put the dimmer and I'm going to put the red at the red location and the black where the black wire was and the white wire where the white wire was. And obviously the ground will go with the ground, the green. Okay, I'm now upstairs. And um, that's the dimmer that I switched out from downstairs. Okay, so that one's got three wires connected to it. So it is a three-way switch. Now keep in mind that your electrician may have used different color wires, and they also may have used different brand switches. Or while you're looking for your parts, you might have the same situation as me, and they'll have a mix of brands and not all one brand. On this side here of the four-way switch, it has asterisk asterisk right so those asterisks are the copper or black screw terminals so that's these black terminals here and then where you see these two asterisks okay that is the gold terminal gold terminals now let's head downstairs to the other three-way switch. So this one, the red and white went to the white, and then the red went to the red, and the black went to the black. 
And now this here is our dimmer here, and this is our on and off. So there is our dimmer, and here's our on off. Now let's go test the switches upstairs. And here is our on and off. And then this will be here. It is our other on and off. Now, if you wanted to, this could be switched out for another dimmer. This is uh, the receipt for the goods. So the dimmer is twenty-seven eighty-six. The four-way switch is thirteen ninety-seven, and then the three-way switch is only three dollars and forty-eight cents. So we end up spending forty-three ninety-seven for everything, and that's a little better than buying bulbs every time you need them for an astronomical price. Now we can get them this regular dimmable LED. So what this is, is me showing you how the old dimmers were initially wired. These are three dimmers, but this dimmer is a three-way. This one's a four-way, four and this one's a three-way. And they're, um, they're different part numbers, but these are the ones that work with fluorescent only. Okay, so now the light could be on this side uh, or the light could be on that side. Or the intake power could be on this side or the intake power could be on that side. And either way, it's going to affect, it's going to be the same. And then the other leg will come from the um, breaker panel, basically. So let's say it's the uh, white wire would go here into the light or to like from the power. And then the white would be directly to the light or or the power coming in on this this side either way so breaker could be here or the breaker could be here or the light could be here or the light could be here okay and then what you're going to do is you're going to switch these out so this is the lutron uh dimmer the um part number dv cl 153 pr okay and then the wh stands for the color Okay, so this could be interchanged for this three-way, or it could be over here at this three-way, okay? Either way. And then you would put a four-way switch here, and then you would put a three-way switch here or here, okay? It could be interchanged. This, or this, or this, okay? And now, switching over to the LED compatible, I had to simulate these switches and dimmers because I'd already installed them when I realized I should show you how they were wired uh, instead of having them hidden wired in the walls. Okay, so I am um, simulating the other switches that I put in the system because they're already installed so i can't show you but basically this is how it goes so the three-way was like th this and then it had the red and white going into the four-way switch and then on the opposite side it came out of the four-way switch okay so the red and white were coming from one side was on one side and then uh going out was on the other side and that's how they were how it's wired after the fact so again, the power or the light could be here, or the power or the light could be there. What does matter is that the four-way is in the middle in the system, and the three-ways are on the outside. Now, don't be a stooge like somebody I know and work on live electrical. Make sure you turn off your breaker.